Hello, hello, hidden hermit here. There's a whole bunch of hermits going on here. We're very hermity today. Here's a hidden hermit. Let's reveal this hermit. This is the, the hermit from the Joan Charles tarot deck. It's very nice. And, you know, when we think about the hermit, we think about the, that idea of seeking answers within. Uh, we think about that sort of archetypal teacher that we have to seek out that can guide our way, if you like. Um, in terms of the image itself, it's quite a, well, I think it's unfair to say stereotypical. It's a pretty standard hermit image. It seems very familiar. Uh, with one very noticeable difference that um, I'm a huge fan of. So, so first of all, yeah, it is that hermit. There's a dude, he has a grey beard. He's a, an elderly chap, to be fair. Or, you know, he could be wearing a fake beard. I don't know, could be. Um, he's got a nice brown robe on um very reminiscent of obi-wan kenobi if you ask me he has the staff and he has the lamp it's a beautiful painting i don't know if you can see that um it's a really cool image and it really it really goes well with the hermit vibe if you ask me uh, the biggest difference with this hermit and um what we're more associated with is you know in the in the waitsmith uh, this hermit is on a snowy mountain top whereas this hermit is in a cave now, I really like this. I mean, the, the, the metaphor of the cave throughout all sorts of stories from antiquity can symbolize that, that journey within. Um, to examine the depths of your soul, you need to go within. And, you know, the, the cave can be your, your psyche. It can be your inner world, if you like. And this hermit is in a cave. And instead of the lamp lighting the way, it's uh, lighting some mysterious symbols and writing on on the cave wall here and I just love this I love this I mean I said that you know the cave um, has, has popped up archetypally in stories throughout history I mean if you if you dig out the, uh, the the strength card from the the mythic tarot you've got Heracles in a cave and I think that that goes well with the idea of going within to tame your animal nature there's also Plato's story of the cave where uh, it it kind of symbolizes this idea that that the cave is your own inner world and and you can be blinkered to to seeing only what's in the cave if you like whereas this hermit is is lighting things up so the cave could also symbolize you know all the knowledge that you possess within you and this hermit i think is is looking for a specific answer so the answers are going to be written all over the place and he's looking for something quite specific what i'm trying to say is the answer is already within the cave. It's already in there. You just need a little bit of help illuminating it. So that's what I like about this card. I just think it's a slightly different take. Um, quite a subtle difference, really. You need to somewhat think about it to, to divine that. Um, but yeah, it's an excellent, excellent idea. Excellent imagery. Um, you don't get a book with this deck. You do get a little information card. And it's, it, it's pretty... Um, Standard, I think that's unfair as well. Stereotype, standard, that's all wrong. Um, but it does say that the, the, the Hermit's about reflection and patience and considering your next move, which is um, something that you don't come across. Uh, it seems obvious though, really, doesn't it? You, you need to get a little bit of solitude. You need to go into that cave and illuminate the walls to, to figure out what you're going to be doing next. Reversed. Um, st stubbornness and rushing in, which could be two sides of the same coin to be fair and also suspicion <laughs> which i think is brilliant i mean you think about a hooded man um trying to hide his face and his head perhaps <laughs> um generally cloaked you can only you can just about see his face and his hands but uh this idea of suspicion i think is quite uh fun as well there's a strong gandalf vibe going on with this card um i I have been told by a little bird that um, Joan Charles quite likes Gandalf. But hey, I don't think that has any bearing on the meaning of this hermit card. But there you go. <laughs> so yeah, um, slightly different, slightly left field, but perfectly profound if you ask me. This is the hermit from the Joan Charles Tarot. Thank you very much.